All right, Mom and I, we're, where were we headed? We were gonna go to a pawn shop. And, pawn shop, where and, I found the neat rings at. Yeah, so we were gonna go there and then we saw a sign for an estate sale. All right, and I, don't, I only have $5. Uh, so. She's borrowing from me again. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we were walking up, we saw three people walk out empty-handed, so that usually means that it's just a bunch of junk or, or too expensive. Too expensive. So <laughs> while we were standing in line, we we're like, oh, maybe we should go look. I pulled up the estate sale on my phone so we could look at the pictures of it. And it wasn't very exciting. So mm -hmm. we're going to go pawn shopping and um, and looking for sushi. And we're having that for dinner. Oh, we're eating that for dinner. <laughs> She's looking for sushi. I'm going to go get my pink drink now. <laughs> So mom and I are having fun thrifting today and I spotted this beautiful apron. I can't believe this is only $38. It's so beautiful. It's the old milk glass and it has those like, almost like Fenton ruffling around the top. All these little pieces, they kind of look like horns. They actually come out of this big dish here and you can put blooms in them. These taller ones like this are really beautiful because you can put like gladiolas or uh, daffodils in them, something that has like a skinny stem with a big flower on top is perfect for putting in these kind of things. And they're very Victorian too. So I'm gonna bring this on home with me because I think it's beautiful. I love old milk glass. Isn't that cool, Mom? Yeah, it's really Yeah. I can't believe you found it. That isn't that cool? I've never seen one this big. I've seen the little minis like that. Yeah. That's really pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's neat with the snakes, Mom. Yeah. This is a Mexican mask. I don't really know the area it came from, but I know it's from Mexico. Cool, huh? Yeah. to the American Cancer Society Discovery Shop. This one is really fun. I used to come here years ago when I lived not very far away, but they have really cute clothes here and they actually iron and launder all of the clothing before it hits the floor too, so everything is clean. Mom's over here on the dollar rack. Those are your colors, Mom. It's like fancy camo. Ooh, this sweatshirt looks kind of nice. Looks like a teddy bear. Yeah. It's only a dollar. Let good me check for your it out. That's what I was thinking. Let me check it out. When you buy things with zippers, you always have to check them before you buy them. Yeah. So this is, works good. Look, you got a bargain, Mom. This was 15 and you're getting it now for a dollar. For a dollar. dollar. Perfect. We're yeah. going for walks with my puppy. Yeah. <laughs> How many coats do we need, huh? I know. Well, it's like for a dollar, even if you only wear it a couple times. And, and then donate. It's okay. Oh, I used to wear chenille. Remember when chenille was like... I like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really warm. It's that gold. Ooh, Kathy Lee. Look at that. Who's Kathy Lee? Maybe it's like Kathy Lee Gifford. Remember her? Mm-hmm. This hot pink vest. Look, it's like neon. They need them. I don't need any more vests, so I just like it. <laughs> Valentines are five for a dollar. Uh -oh, you want to give each other one? Yeah. For the love of my life. There you go. I should, yeah. Fine. For my lovely wife. Pete needs that one for me. <laughs> Here, here's, here's your husband. Your smart, funny, strong, handsome, caring, amazing husband. Here oh yeah, go. I'm gonna get that one for Pete. Okay. I think it's the same thing. For my man, here's for my man. Oh, maybe I'll get that one for Pete. Thanks for working on all the stuff for me in, at home. That's that's tools one. on it. <laughs> and I'll get mine this one. They're the, smart, strong. Ooh, I don't know about smart. This this racks a dollar too. Did you look yeah. on here? No, not yet. I just oh. need this one too. So. They've got a great rack, some vintage clothing over here too. Look at this jacket. It feels like old cashmere or something, like from the 60s totally with this kind of like crop on it. This color is like really pretty, I like that kind of antique white. Yeah. But check out the buttons. It's like little rhinestones and beads. Really pretty. Yeah. Lou Johnson, Tacoma Yakima. That's cute. That's cute. Got a ton of, ooh, those are cute. Look at these leopard ones. Remember these kind of shoes? Oh, yeah, the platforms. They're only seven bucks. What? Let me see those. What set Are they is? vintage? I have to look at those. Yeah, they probably got That's it. cool. What? Well, they're more platforms. The red, red sticker says 75% off, I think. What? These, are like $1. These $1. all have a sticker. I think she should, that's what she took out. Are you serious? These are like on sale? Yeah. 
Spice Girl shoes. You try them on. Okay. These are good. Okay, I'll try on one. <laughs> All right. Spice Girl shoes. I would have wanted these. Remember when Junior High and Spice Girls came out and they made you take me to see Spice World at the theater? Yep. I had to see both Spice Girls movies and I wanted no, the shoes. Really it says these are a size nine and a half though. Well, check them out. These ones are eight. And I like the metal ones. Sometimes sizes are different, but you gotta check. Oh. Oh. Sure. Where's my toe? I don't know. They'll have an inch at the end. It well, feels stand like. Up. You never try a shoe on until you stand That's up. funny. I'd be almost six feet tall with these on. Cool. cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but they're kind of cool. What do we think? Mm -hmm. Do I need to put the other one on my foot maybe, huh? You want the other one? Just to see how it feels. Wow, somebody like wore these one time. I like really They're actually really comfortable. Yeah, they were, they were, I remember when they first came out, but they still were one. What do we think? Spice Girl? Should I Spice Girl it? If they're on sale. Oh, that's they're in really good condition. What would I wear them with? What you're wearing. Just like this? Mm -hmm. Tight. Or like a white jean. Okay, let's try the other ones on. Oh, those are cute. Look at the polka dot. I'll ask her. What am I gonna wear with these? You can wear blacks and silvers and whites almost with everything. It's blacks in the winter time and your silvers in the spring. I don't know, but these ones are all real stiff. Well, because they haven't even been worn yet. My heel's sliding around. Really? They're shorter. Yeah. Hey, good. <laughs> Look at good. these ones. Aren't those cool? Are you good for those? Yeah, I like think them? they're cute. <laughs> we, get, we, we have to try to get young people in here because we kind of do get a few good little yeah, things. Yeah. yeah. Ones. And most <laughs> of us are, that shop here, are the bigger majority are those that, that are older. But there's some cuteness stuff yeah. in there too. Yeah, you know? I like some of the vintage things you guys get in here too. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> glad you're happy with it. Mom just con confirmed it was 75% off. So this makes my shoes a dollar fifty for Spice Girl shoes. Like, how can I resist, right? Okay, now we're at Goodwill, and, and Mom is hoping to find her lace shower curtain. Yeah, like the one I gave some. <laughs> I'll probably just end up giving it to you because yeah, you I'll make her feel guilty. Yeah. I'll get it back. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want to find? That's all I'm looking for. Yeah, I don't know what I want. We're just gonna wander around and see what we see. I kind of saved my money because Selena has to inherit something. That's a good idea. <laughs> 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 Ooh, these are cool. Look at these earrings. Those big chandelier ones. They're all the earrings are two ninety nine. Those are cool. The hearts, if you were into hearts, remember you said you were... Yeah, I, like, I want pearl hearts, though, or big rhinestone ones. Those are great, though. I gotta see those. Good job. Look at all these ones. I am so hungry, Mom. Are you hungry? What do you need no, to lunch? I ate a bunch of candy. What's this with the foxes on it? No, that's cute. And that's your size, a little tiny. That's cute. Purple tickets are half price. Look at this little, they're like little chubby, head, like big headed foxes on it. Cute. That's cute. Well, that's Short cute. though. <laughs> yeah. For me. I could wear like a petticoat underneath, but look how cute that print is. You'll have to try it on. That's cute. I think it's a little too short for me. Dang. That's really cute. Yeah, you are an older woman. I know. <laughs> oh, no, what do you say? A woman of a certain age. Tell everyone your good idea. This is some kind of little case thing here, I guess, jewelry box or some kind of little something. Yeah. And my idea was, oh yeah, you can little drawers. I cut a hole right here, cut a hole right here and make it little holes where you have a little birdhouse. Yeah, that would be cute. It already has the roof and everything it's on It's only $6.99, Mom. Yeah, that's tempt I wish the lid came open where I could you have to get you in might there. be able to pop that off, right? And just like pop it. No. It's oh, it's all glued around. Because if the lid came out, you would get on there and clean. Put, put a little hole on each end. Starlings would love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put that right where my bird feeder is. Yeah, that's cute. They give me a chance to think of that. They give me a chance to think about it. But you know how I love frogs. Always looking for my frog bases. But look at this little planter. You can put your toothbrush in there. 
Not when not in there, look. Oh, you clean it. <laughs> That's cute though. It's like all the, the whole pot sitting on all the little squatty frogs. That's Are they cute. not broken off or anything? No. This needs to be cleaned up. That's cute. That's cute. I'm getting this. I spotted this over on the pretty section, of course. I thought that was gorgeous. It's all nice and clean yeah. with the velvet and the pretty robe. Yeah. I'm trying to convince my mom to just get a normal curtain. But then I gotta sew. The... Not really, mom. I mean, you could just cut little tiny like slits in this part right here and then poke your shower curtain hole through it. How wide is it though? You need 72 at least wide. Well, you just get a couple panels. It looks like these are from Ikea. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know Ikea made lace. I didn't know Ikea made it. I have never been to Ikea. See, it looks like you just need two, Mom. And there's two on there. How much How is this? long are they, though? Is this two 84. long? 84. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to hand them plus. Yeah. Bunch of holes. How much is it? Too know. much work? A <laughs> lot. Probably. Not More of my price range. Hand. Where's the bottom? Is that right? a tablecloth? Or a... We're going to find out. Yeah, it looks like a, I don't know. I'll just unhook it on here, maybe. Here. You don't know until you look. That might be a tablecloth. That's cloth. a tablecloth. Tablecloth. Yeah. I don't know why you won't just make one then. <laughs> why don't you on. make it for me and then I'll come and take it. <laughs> a pretty print. These big poppies. That'd be really pretty to recover a um, chair in, like if you did the seat and those big poppies. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's uh, a curtain. It's a curtain, but oh, yeah. what a beautiful thing for chairs. Yeah, or one of those like. That's piano. how you get your fabric when yeah. you want to do upholstery. Is go to the Goodwills and look in their curtain department. This is beautiful. That's what I did when I got my first house. Yeah. How I do things. Look at oh, look at these. Oh. <laughs> look at that with the big leaves. That'd uh -huh. be pretty for upholstery on a chair. Good uh, ottoman or something. Yeah, that might be okay. I like that one. Yeah. Look at these sheets, Mom. The peacocks. Yeah, but Brand microfiber. I bet. No, they're cotton. They're only seven ninety nine. Twin size or full size? Twin. Yeah, it's a twin. Do you have Here's a twin a bed or a full? I have full. There's a shower curtain. So they throw a shower curtain. Oh yeah, there. maybe you should look in here. See, our um, Goodwills get a lot of Target donations, and a lot of things will be brand new. As you can see, like all in the package. Here's here. a white one. I could go totally white, but it'd be fabric. No, I like the lace idea still. We'll find one. Maybe we'll find one tomorrow. Oh, I get a picture. He <laughs> likes the old floppy ones and grab and shake. My mom's yeah. in the kid department looking for puppy dog toys. More dog toys. Oh, a snake. That's a worm. A worm. Kitty, oh, that's kind of a just... cat worm. That's kind of gross. Yeah, put that one back. I don't like that one. So, mom did not find her shower curtain, but we mm -hmm. might find it tomorrow. Might hit up a couple places. I had to hit up Selena's linen closet. And get yeah, it back. <laughs> You're just gonna steal that one back. <laughs> I got two treasures, and I also met two sweet friends in there. So nice of you to come up and say hi to me and my favorite thrift, my favorite Goodwill. Um, so that was really exciting. And I got these beautiful vintage earrings. I thought those are really pretty. Can you see those? Look at that fringe on these. They're really heavy. They have like a silver patina on them um, with lots of nice filigree. I don't know if they're sterling. I'm going to have to test them. They might be like alpaca. I'm not sure. But look how pretty. They're like super long and dramatic. Aren't those cool, Mom? Yeah, they are. I think those are pretty. And then that little jewelry box. I had to bring that home with me. You know, I love to keep an eye out for the, these little footed jewelry boxes are really pretty, like on your vanity or on your bathroom counter. And then this, perfect when you take your rings off or your earrings to stick in so you don't lose them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like perfect for like little stud little ones. And yeah. Stuff. And then it has the velvet. So I had to bring it. We only got two treasures. Two. That's okay. Hey, Say mom. Mom. Yeah, babe. <laughs> I get called grandma a lot, and I'm not even a grandma. Because well, I, Pete I, calls you grandma because you had gray hair. Yeah, I've had gray hair since I was 30. <laughs> <laughs> had Selena and got totally white haired. I've had gray hair since I was 30. Me too. Yeah. As soon as I had you, I turned white. <laughs> out on that one when it's sold. That's a cool shape though, huh? I, I did like that, yeah. 
Oh wow, that's unique. Yeah. That's really cool. It's all like you can put your clothes in here and then Yeah. Does this have little shelves in no. there? What's in there? Look at the hardware. That's it. That's pretty. That's cool. It's all carved wood. Look at the base on that. It's really neat. That looks like that would go at your house even, huh? That kind of style. That I don't style. like the shade on this, but. I, uh, it needs a bamboo shade. Yeah, like the ones we saw at that the state flat sale. ones, Remember? yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. That's like those teacups we saw. Yeah. See, this is cute if you don't use it as a pitcher. You just put flowers in it like that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. Look, here's a little creamer thing, too. This is only three fifty. Somebody broke the set, huh? That's pretty, though. Is that like amber? Yeah, when we had this when I was a kid. I remember this was like my dad bought the big ones, and us kids would have to get the little ones. For your juice or something? Or iced tea or whatever. It is. My mom would say, that's where the kids' glasses. You take the little ones. <laughs> what a rip. <laughs> we should have got the big ones when we were kids. Don't trip on this rug right there. Yeah. Looks like a tripper. Grab bags. When I was little, you would have yep, said you, you can, if you're good in here. You can get anything you want for a dollar. You can have only a dollar. Well, Look no. at this as a milk glass axe. What's that for? Maybe for cheese. Wouldn't that be cute if you cut, had this on your cheese block to cut mm -hmm. cheese? No, you don't get no cheese. A lot, a lot of brooches and for a little grab bag with some brooches. Look at these glasses. Those are the ones like your mom had. Yeah, the link. look at this. That's a good deal. You get a bro two brooches, a little somebody, and some. Is that more. a pill box? Yeah, a little. No, it's kind of hollow. I don't know what it was. For matches. Matches? Yeah, see, that slides. Oh, matches that, slide in there. For an 850, that's something you had to give a present to. Did you say 850? Yeah. <laughs> and then a little mirror. That's cool. Can't I say 850? Yeah, it was just funny the way you said it. 850. Big ones, yeah, these were like my dad's size. Oh, that's the one you couldn't drink out yeah, of? Yeah, that was my dad and mom got the big ones. Us kids had to take the little ones. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Look at this set. Ninety-five fifty two piece vintage Alco Agate doll dishes. Oh, cool. Wow, oh, those are pretty. You're a fancy little girl if you got dishes like that, I bet. Yeah, these are cool. This is like a... Um, burlesque little book. Oh, I had it all sealed up because you can't look at it. Fold of Follies. Look at that. Is that cute? Yeah. I love these old, um, what do I want to say? What is it called? Like the paperwork? Yeah. Ephir Ephirmia? Eph How do you say that word? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, don't worry. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I can't say it. But people, like if you use like old sheet music and they always have those pretty covers, when you frame these, they look really cute. Wouldn't that be adorable, like in your dressing room or something? Yeah, it would. I love that. I wonder what the other pictures look like in that. Uh, there's like a picture of this guy. They only want five bucks for this. Oh, I, it's a planner. It's a little planner, but you could put your toilet bowl brush in here. <laughs> Have a little planner and put your little toilet brush in here. How cute. <laughs> what? You immediately thought of a toilet brush? Yeah. <laughs> I think a plant would be cute. But a little toilet brush. It would look like a little dog sent by your toilet instead of the ziggy old thing with a toilet brush in it. That would be cute, Mom. <laughs> yeah. So my mom has this really beautiful pull lamp with like a chair baby and a lady on it. It's so beautiful. We got it at an auction years ago and I always like begged my mom to give it to me. And so she just gave it to me this last summer, but I need to find a lampshade for it. And I, I wanted to make one, but I don't hardly have time, but look at this. You know what we could do with this? I could dip dye the ends. I was going to do that to that other one we had. Try yeah. to see if dip dye would do. Dip dye the ends on, like uh, a Make darker. it ombre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that these are actually glass beads on it too. Oh, we have to. It's, look at this. The best part. Are you ready? $36. I can't, I can't even like, do you know how long it takes to make these? I love all this old millinery. It's really cute when you're wrapping like presents. If you use antique lace or those old satin ribbons and then finish it with a pretty little vintage flower like this. It's so cute. Look at all these ones. Really neat. I'll have to show you when um, I unpack them, but I bought a whole bunch of millinery from an estate, like old, like from the 20s, 30s, 40s old. 
and it's really beautiful like some old velvet stuff and I can't wait to unpack it it's really cute I spotted this down in the bottom when I was walking by Ooh, definitely getting that that's really cool it needs to be cleaned up a little bit that little one Mark? yeah that's another one too this is really pretty in the yeah so this it's all um, metal work and then they inlay the color over top of it. That's a pretty one. And that's a little tiny one. And that's yeah. Copper. Yeah, but it's brass. brass. Yeah, that's a pretty one too. That's awesome though, this huge size. Yeah, you usually don't see the big ones. No. Too bad there aren't two. I love to get things when there's a pair. As you can see, mom and I have been shopping all day with all of our plunder. We were actually smart today and I did this by on by accident, but we have these totes in the back of my car and it's perfect when you're out thrifting because you can put all your stuff in there and it's not rolling around the car. But what I was thinking when we were walking around the antique mall, first I was thinking I would do like a dip dye on this because I love that look when it fades to ombre. So I'm still gonna do it, but what I think I'm gonna do to make it easier is I have some old fringe at home that's, I think it's even longer than this. Yeah, so I can dip dye that fringe on its own and then attach that on the underside where you won't see it's an addition. And then all of these little pieces here, I think that I'm gonna look through some of my lace appliques and um, like crochet pieces and like, you know, the pretty doilies or the, like the net lace, all that stuff. I'm gonna look and see what I have to add on yes customize i think that'd be pretty mom that was a really good deal yeah cheaper than when we had to make them yeah so i'm going to show you the lamp when i get home too because it's really gorgeous so thanks mom <laughs> and i bought some bookends because i'm into wood carvings been collecting since 1970. yeah you have <laughs> and these are elephants they were missing their tusk but i can make i think i can carve some tusk um, do you have white fingernail polish where you could just Probably. like paint or i could or just house spray paint. paint probably just house space yeah because you, you don't want them shiny you want them kind of dull mm -hmm. so i get some latex paint probably but these are bookends and that'll put my favorite books in there and they look fancy yeah those are cool mom you're like oh what are these mom has quite the collection mm -hmm. everyone wants to see your stuff mom you guys comment below and let us know if we can go snoop up mom's house in the next video i don't think so because I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of private come on you know what we did in the antique mall Show them what we both did. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> when we were at the register, she had a little dish of candies and stuff. And we didn't eat lunch today. So we got so some my mom, candies. I was all, I got one of them. I was like, oh, this tastes like coconut. And my mom's all, oh. So mm. she goes over there and oh she, got, she got three of them. And I saw my mom grab three of them, put them in her pocket. So I went over and did I it too. My purse. When I was little, I used to eat those pastel party mints because we would go to the Sizzler. Yeah. When they had the buffet there. But, You'd always oh, say. Oh, remember showing my, oh, you don't want sleeves on. I can feel the people coming for me now. <laughs> Before you got your big teeth. <laughs> Before you got big teeth. <laughs> so I would wear like a hoodie sweatshirt when we go to like Sizzler. And I would pull the sleeve out like this, like real long over my hand. And I would like rest it on the counter, you know, while they're like getting your menus or whatever. And then I would go like this and I'd grab the mints and suck them back up <laughs> into my sleeve. But don't take your hand out. You gotta put it down in your kangaroo pocket and then you drop the mints down the pocket and when you pull your hand out, it's just like, oh, like nothing. She was sneaking. That was like a pro move there. <laughs> pro pit pocket. They were free, <laughs> free mints. They didn't say how she many. Didn't, she didn't tell me this one, she has little folks. You taught me <laughs> I can teach you that. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> Whew, I am out of breath. I just hauled in this heavy lamp in here from my dressing room and it's gonna be here, I think, for its forever place because it's so pretty. I love the color palette and everything. I'm gonna get some close-up video so you can see um, all of the detailing on it. But my mom gave me this lamp over the summertime and I posted this over on Instagram. So if you're already following me over there, you've already seen this amazing lamp, but I haven't shared it with you here on YouTube. And that's because I was waiting to find the perfect lamp shade for it and I thought maybe I would make one because I do know how to make these Victorian style lampshades, but they take a lot of time and I don't have a lot of free time right now. So I was like, maybe I'll thrift one. And lo and behold, let's go get her. Okay, so my next little project is to cut off this chain cord. And I think that this shape is gonna be so pretty on here. It's like the perfect um, size and I love that it kind of looks like a, 
I don't know. It reminds me of almost like a fruit. I can't think of what fruit it would be. Does it remind you of a fruit? <laughs> Maybe it's a peach. <laughs> um, so what I think I'm going to do with this lampshade though, I'm going to cut the cord off this afternoon and I'm going to take a look in my little stash because I want to do something that adds like a little bit more of a contrast on here. It has some really beautiful fringing and I love this bit here because these are like glass beads. I thought were really pretty and it has them on all the corners but I feel like it needs some contrast because everything is like the same color palette on it. Do you see how my dress is like peach with, oh, just give me some ideas here. Peach with the navy, hmm. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I, I'm gonna go get my fringe. I have this old piano shawl that was just rotten, but the only thing that was good on it still was the fringe. So I tore away the fringe and I just stashed it away because I thought someday I might find a lampshade like this. So I'm, I'm glad that I was a hoarder and saved my things. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do is like dip dye that fringe so I have like an ombre effect on it and then attach it to the underside of this lampshade. So it'll just kind of peek out. So let me know in the comments below, what color do you think that I should add to the fringe? Like what color do you think would be complimentary? Should I stick with like a um, the same color palette and maybe choose something I like like a rich red or really dark burgundy? Or do you think I should go more on the cool side and have more of a contrast? Let me know what you think. I do like this though, look how pretty that is, all those sparkles. But it just has so much fringe and I love the pleating and stuff. So that was such a great find. But of course you wanna see the close up on that lamp. Look at this, it's really neat. I don't know if this is French or Italian, but it's got all of the beautiful detailing that you know I love so much. Um, along the base here has all of these like beautiful ladies in dresses. And this is the original chippy paint, as you can see, and it's extremely heavy. I think the base is all this like heavy iron with uh, all the hand painted details are beautiful. Look at this, the cherub baby here on the edge with the gargoyle face. Isn't that the coolest thing? And then on this side, she's actually stepping on a gargoyle face and holding the handle of the urn. It's really beautiful. So my afternoon project is to dust this and clean it up. Thanks for hanging out today and I'll see you in the next video.